Bokow jest już, ta walka zakończy się błyskawicznym zwycięstwem. Ale tak naprawdę, proszę Państwa, ta historia dopiero tutaj bierze swój początek. Dopiero wyłoniony mistrz wakujący w kategorii Bridger. Wróćmy do tego jeszcze raz. Damn, Alan Bobic got blasted. And the crazy thing is, it was only a matter of time because defensively, you know, he has no defense. And he's been getting cracked too many times in previous fights for me not to believe that one day shit was going to hit the fan. By the way, this was supposed to be for that cursed WBC uh, Bridgerweight title. It's a division between cruiserweight and heavyweight. I think the weight limit is like 224 pounds or so. But Bobic was blasted out in one round by what's this guy's name? Let's go check it out. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe on T-Street Controversy. What was this guy's name? Lukas Rosinski. How come this name sounds familiar? Martin McCauley was on a card, by the way. Got a win. This was one of those obscure uh, Sky Sports boxer cards. 15-0 with 14 KOs, 37 years old. Damn, he put a boot in the, He beat Arthur Spielka. Okay. Even though, you know, Arthur Spielka, Michael's, Michael Sprott. So he's been around. He's been around, not really fighting like super high level competition, but let's face it. How do you look at Alan Bobic as being, you know, 11 and one now with 10 KOs. He was 11 and 0 um, going into the fight. 32 years old, six foot one. Um, I forgot which fight it was that I saw that he was really in trouble. He blasted out Eric Molina. I remember that drummer boy, Adam Obolski. I covered this fight. So, you know, Honestly, you like he's exciting to watch, but it's no real skill there. And as you can see, him being blasted out the way he, you know, was blasted out, it's like, you know, maybe he can slow down and go, you know, like work on some things. He started off as a sparring partner, right? Of uh, Dylan White. And doesn't Dylan White manage him? But man, he put a boot in his ass. He just just blew right through him. Like, he literally fights like a barbarian. The Savage is his uh, alias. So it's like, okay, you know, I don't see him ever getting any, any, like, you know, adjusting defensively to become better. So I can't really say, like, well, you know, like, this is what they should do with him next. Like, I don't know. Does he go for a rematch? I hate that Bridger weight belt. Dog on it. Here was the card. Michael Cieslak, seen him fight before, forgot against who. Martin McCauley here. Let's go look it up on a uh, box rec, as a matter of fact. So now we have a new cruiserweight, fucking cruiserweight, Bridger weight champion in Lucas Rosinski. Alan Bobbix weighed in at 210 and a half, 10 and three quarters. Fucking Bridger weight title. This fight was, um, or this card was on the same time as the zones, uh, Joe Cordina versus Rakamov and Sandy Ryan versus Hole. So later on, actually in about 45 minutes, the pay-per-view portion of Tank Davis versus Ryan Garcia is going to be starting. So let me see. I wonder what's next for him. Did he do an interview? Let me see if we can find some type of interview from, um, Bobbage. By the way, who do you think he should fight next? Like, who do you think is logical for him? Or a logical fight for him? This fight took place over in Poland, right? Let's see here. This clip set of knockouts. Look, he was talking shit earlier in the week. I'm going to knock Lukas Rosinski out. Boy, Alan Bobic is not messing around. Yeah, I bet. Can't wait to see the fight, mate. Damn, my man had uh, ads on his back. He got knocked out seeing that. But as I said, it was always a matter of time for me. You know? You go Dylan White with him. Anyway, ew, what is that? What the hell is that? Ew. 
Anyway, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Take your time out and like the video. I'm Teacher Controversy with 5U360.